afternoon guys what is up welcome to welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing the uh the new brakes on the 04 silverado here you know ignore the stock tires i'm still on them um because we're still it's still winter time and i don't want the forged wheels to get messed up with the salt on the roads um but you know in some of the previous videos you know we've got brand new calipers pads and drilled and slotted rotors there that are going to be going on the front i actually um i ordered those a while back and i didn't order the rear and i ordered the rear the other day but i'm still waiting on them so the rear is not going to happen today we're going to go ahead and do the front and i'm going to do a step by step because people have been mentioning that they wanted a little bit more in depth with what i've been doing so i'm going to try to do that and i'll show you guys you know how we're going to go about changing everything um so i got the front jacked up here and i better go get my jack stands because god forbid if i don't put a jack stand under this truck people will lose their minds in the comments section so better go get a jack stand and um once i do that i'll go ahead and pull the tire off and i'll show you guys what you need to take off uh, if you're going to do the complete system caliper rotors pads all of that uh, but before we get started like i'm saying in the other videos go follow me over on instagram at austin04 underscore z71 you guys know i post up everything that's going on there before it comes up on youtube plus any events that i'm going to shows and stuff like that so without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right so i'm sure it goes without saying the first step is of course to remove the wheel and tire and uh <clears throat> this is a real privilege for me to be able to work with uh stock wheels and tires because they're nice and light and I can just take them off and throw them around. I don't get that kind of luxury when you're on 35s and 12 wides. So they're still a little bit hot, so I might need to go grab some gloves. Just came down the road with them. But uh, first thing you need to do is you got two bolts. Well, let me, get, let me grab the camera and show you guys here. Okay. So first thing you're gonna need to do is you got a bolt here. You got a bolt down there on the bottom side. That's for your caliper. So uh, I, think it's, I think it's a 17 or a 19, I have to, I'll double check here. I'm gonna grab a wrench and I'll figure that out. And we're gonna take this off and we're gonna lay it up here on the upper control arm um, and get that out of our way so we can go ahead and slide the rotor off and everything. All right, so before someone drops down in the comment section and mentions that upper ball joint, yeah, I've, I'm getting new upper control arms here uh, from Spindle Source actually to adjust the angle so we don't do that anymore. And also any comments that there's gonna be about how this looks under here, be smart people we're jacked up here it doesn't ride it doesn't drive down the road with everything maxed out like that one vid the last video i did when we did the hub assembly everybody thought it looked like this when it was driving that's that's not the case but anyway all right so here's got the rotor off um and they're 18 millimeter bolts on the back side there and there take your little bolt off here actually i thought it was a 10 but may not even be metro might be standard yep standard let me get the right size wrench and i'm going to take this bolt off it's going to disconnect the caliper and i'll be able to hook up the new caliper all right so here's the old caliper you see we got that bolt out of there we got it here into the new one these come with uh the new little crush washers or whatever that's underneath though it put that on there bolt this down the reason i didn't feel me doing that is i had you know brake fluid dripping out here and i didn't want it to keep running out um so went ahead and threw that threw that on there and keep in mind you're definitely going to want some brake clean because um brake fluid will eat the paint off of anything so uh, anything you want to keep painted definitely get you some brake clean and uh, spray it down once you're done so uh, what i'm going to do now is we we'll go ahead and get the rotor out put the rotor on and put the pads inside of the caliper and bolt the caliper up and then uh, that's i mean it's really as easy as that and then i'll pick back up the camera and show you guys once we get to that step all right guys so i jumped over here to the driver's side went ahead and finished up the uh, passenger side so here's how it's going to look when you've got your all brand new caliper on there rotor and all that now drilled and slotted you got to have the right side because of the way it's cut so you see this is front driver's side make sure you match that up so you got passenger side driver's side that's important uh, just because of the way it's done here now i didn't mention before remember you got to bleed your brakes you're doing brand new calipers there's a ton of air in the line if you do this and try to bolt the tire back on and go down the road it's not going to end well for you so uh you're probably going to need two people and i got my buddy nick here thankfully that's helping me do it uh <clears throat> and you, know, you got to bleed the brakes you gotta get somebody in there pump up hold open it up shut it until you're getting nice clean liquid with no air so uh that's that's what you got to do when uh you replace everything so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna button all this up 
and uh, we can uh, we can take a ride or whatever. Some people were wondering if you would hear some type of noise because of you know you got the grooves and the holes in it. Um, I don't really know, but I guess we can go for a ride and try to find out. But uh, and also I got to make sure that it works anyway. So like, give me just a minute to get all this uh, bolted back up and all that, and we'll take a ride. All right, guys. So I actually already filmed the outro to this video, and in the outro I said that it didn't really fix my problem, and it didn't to an extent, but. It's the next day and I'm on my lunch break and I'm driving. These brakes are great. Um, we actually bled them again once once I finished up the video. I bled them again. There was a little bit of air still in them. Um, and now they are, they work way, they're way better than the old ones. And again, the pads were worn out on the other ones. But even just doing a regular rotor and a uh, weaver pad, I, I definitely think these stop better than what I've used in the past. And, uh, you know, no matter what you're going to put these rotors on, and if you see they even came off of Amazon, you know, and I don't know how they're going to hold up to. So it's going to be kind of a, a test to see how long they last. But initial impressions, I'm impressed. Uh, I think they're going to be, I think they're going to be good rotors, and I think it's going to last me a good little while here. And uh, it was definitely worth the money. You know, I'm glad that I replaced it all because everything needed to be replaced. And so now I'm just waiting on the rear, which I think those came in, supposed to come in today. So I'll get on that here soon. But uh, definitely, if you're looking at, you know, switching over to drilled and slotted rotors, you know, they don't make any noise. I don't feel any type of feedback in the brake pedal or anything. I know some people were wondering, you know, with, you know you're thinking you've got those grooves and everything. Maybe you would hear something when you're, you know, braking, hard braking. I don't hear it. And uh, I had the windows down before I turned the camera on. It's like 70 degrees and I was listening. It was a good day for me to actually have done the brakes as I could listen and hear and see if, you know, there was something that was making a noise. And they're as quiet as can be. I'm extremely happy with them. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, close out the video. All right, guys. So uh, Nick and I just got back from a drive with it. And I mean, I ran it. We ran it up to 90 miles per hour on a closed road, of course, not on a public road. That's illegal. Um, and, uh, you know, hit the brakes pretty hard just to see how it would stop. I don't hear a single bit of noise coming from them that the old ones didn't. Let's see if you guys, the camera can adjust. You'll be able to see. New caliper new rotor and all that i didn't hear any noise with it um it didn't necessarily fix the problem that i wanted to fix which was all that sponginess in the brake pedal and we may have to move over to the uh master cylinder brake booster or something to try to end that once and for all but um i don't know what is what causes it the trucks never had great brakes so uh we'll do the rear and two and see where that puts us at but we the front the pads were bad the front needed it as soon as possible the rear actually was done a year ago so it actually they well, they weren't done at the same time uh but they're probably due for it because if you've been a subscriber for a while there's been quite a few burnouts and that'll that'll wear them down real good as well as your tires so um i'm happy with them i'm gonna put all the links down in the description below or you know i'm gonna try to find all the links but keep in mind and this is happening now that my videos are getting a couple years old the links are going to run out eventually so if you're watching this video and it's a long time after i did it those links might not work and i apologize um, but for now the links will be down there you guys can go and buy the products and uh if you've got the same generation truck or whatever but i definitely recommend them of course the pads were wagner the rotors were power stop the calipers calipers were just off-brand calipers i think I, I, there might have been a brand on them and i didn't pay any attention to the box the box that came in were just just brown box wrapped in paper and all that so i appreciate you guys watching um follow me over on instagram like i said at the beginning of the video drop any comments questions you got down in the comments section below you can hit me up in the dms on instagram because uh, you know i usually see those before i see a comment so i appreciate you guys watching take care have a great day